Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. Well, as you're preparing your offering today, um, this past week, my son Christian, I I have to give a shout out to the the ministry Cultivate. That's our young uh, adults ministry. They meet on Tuesday nights at 6.30 p.m. And uh, Lakin, Christian, and Christian Anderson um, all teach at this ministry. And my wonderful daughter-in-law sent us um, the recording of Christian's message, and I said, I'm stealing that. (laughs) That is a good word that you preach. And I actually called him up and I said, I'm stealing that for this weekend. Because this is what he said. He taught. He was talking about the unseen world versus the natural world. That we live in the natural world, but we also live in an unseen world. And he said this sentence: God has already, God has victory already prepared for you in the unseen world. And when I heard that that statement, well, I, I obviously something just went alive on the inside of me. God already has victory prepared for you in the unseen world. And I started to really meditate on that. God has healing already prepared for you in the unseen world. He has victory. He has prosperity. He has all these things laid out for us in the unseen world. But what does it take for us to grab it from the unseen and bring it into our natural? By faith. We do not live by what we see around us, but we walk by faith. Amen? In Colossians 2, this is the scripture that the Lord gave me. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, okay, you have, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith. See, what happens when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior and we are walking out our life in him we go to church we listen to a word we open our our bible this is walking out our christian life in him and as we do that what's happening is you are being rooted you're being established you're being built up so that when the enemy comes and says you can't have that you can't do that you're thinking about starting a business you can't do that when he comes and says these kinds of things to you You can say, by faith in Jesus, I can tap into the unseen world and bring into fruition what God is calling me to do in my life. Because that is our Christian life. God already has it prepared. We just have to believe by faith that we're gonna see into the unseen. I'm gonna see that he has provision. I'm gonna see that he has healing. I'm gonna see that he has peace. I'm gonna see that I can be free from things in my life. And I see it, even maybe I don't have it yet in the natural world, but by faith, God, you said I can have freedom. By faith, God, you said I can have prosperity. By faith, God, you said I can be a live a life without fear. And so I see it, and so I say, Jesus, you are my redeemer. You are the one that has done it for me, and I receive it. Hey, that's a thing too. It's a free gift. There's nothing you have to do to earn it. You just by faith say, and you know what? You don't have to have a lot of faith either. You can have great faith, or you can have the size of a mustard seed faith to have that come into your life. In Mark 2, there's an amazing story about four guys. Four guys that just knew about Jesus and knew about the power of him and knew that he, he ministered in healing. And they had a friend who was crippled. But they knew that if they could get their crippled friend to Jesus, that their friend would be healed. And they got to the house where Jesus was ministering and the house was completely full, but you know what? That didn't stop them. Their faith did not, I think it was ignited. And the Holy Spirit gave them an an idea to climb to the top of a roof. Who does that? And dig into a roof and, and to lower their friend in front of Jesus because they knew they had so much faith in Jesus that if they could get their friend in front of Jesus, that their friend would be healed. And you know, the Bible says what that, when Jesus saw them, he said, he saw their great faith. And you know, that man was healed. He was put in front of Jesus. And I wanna tell you today that whatever you put in front of Jesus, miracles happen. 
Because at the name of Jesus, when you put something at the feet of Jesus, every knee has to bow, every tongue has to confess in that moment that Jesus is Lord. That is where you get your victory, is at the feet of Jesus. At the feet of Jesus, he brings that unseen world into reality. Amen. As we receive these tithes and offerings, we, we do this declaration together. So let's do that right now. I thank you, Lord, that as your word is declared today, healing is coming to my body, to my heart, and to my family. I am free from fear, addictions, and poverty. Your peace, joy, and love are flooding my soul. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I believe, receive, and act upon your word and all of this by the strength of Christ with me in me. In Jesus' name, amen.